your joy, joy, joy. This is Swami, the Orange Cowboy on the Cyprus International Film Festival. Today, I'm so happy to introduce you to Susan Downs. Susan, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So tell us, what's the name of your film? What, what do you film, do? Is our film is called The Big Secret. My film partner, Alex Foss, and I produced and directed it. And our goal is we want to wake up people on how they need to take care of their health. I mean, our doctors, I mean, they tend to have the pattern of they find an ill and they give a pill, mass the symptoms and create new ones. But doesn't it make a lot more sense to look under the hood so we can find out the cause of what's going on? And then as individuals, you can address it. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Not treat the symptom, treat the root cause. Absolutely. So tell us a little more what's in the film. What will people see? Is it one theme? Well, we start by discussing the pharmaceutical industry, which was set up by Rockefeller. I mean, he connected it with medical schools and figured out a way that, it, you know, that there'd be a perpetual stream of income because natural remedies such as Ayurveda, there wasn't much of a profit in it. Then we discuss the statins, which deplete CoQ10, adiponectin, and can lead to various health risks. And I understand, do not reduce heart disease. Oh, they do lower cholesterol. Then we discuss genetically modified foods, and the experts I've spoken to say that the genetically modified food process will harm us, and that's independent of glyphosate, which is in Roundup, which they use as herbicide, which has very many detrimental health effects. Then we discuss the sugar industry, where Harvard was found, um, uh, coming up with research that they were paid to come up with certain results on sugar. We discuss fluoridating the water. Now, fluoride is great on a tooth, but in the body, it's very harmful. And then there is this mysterious disease. I mean, there are physicians, alternative physicians seem to catch. And the symptoms were, they were found floating in ponds, stabbed, shot. I, very strange etiology. Um, I hope I don't catch it. <laughs> I hope not, too. What were some of the highlights of the film for you personally? Well, what was most disturbing to me is I've interviewed several experts on genetically modified foods, and their lives are destroyed when they came up with research that showed there could be harm in genetically modified food. Uh, Dr. Pustai, I mean, I understand that Monsanto called up Clinton, called up Tony Blair, and said to shut him down, quiet him up, and they did. They shut everything down, fired him, burglarized his house. Dr. Seralini. Uh, there are Monsanto documents saying that they had certain procedures to try to discredit him. And this is very disturbing to me because um, the public is confused. Remember the cigarettes and it took decades to do something about it. Uh, research, I mean, people create sure. doubt, they confuse people. And we're going through the same thing, be it genetically modified foods, electromagnetic fields. Uh, industry ha research tends out to be overwhelmingly in favor of these, and uh, non-industry researchers say they're potential problems. And so what do you hope uh, the audience gets from this? You said to wake up. What, uh, what would, would that mean in real well, terms? Well, I think we need to take be proactive in our health and not rely on a system which, although well-intended and excellent in many areas, I mean, uh, their approach is a pill for an ill. Uh, we need to take charge of our own health. Uh, we need to eat, eat well, eat organic. I mean, I have a radio show, Occupy Health. Well, we've occupied Wall Street. It's time to occupy our health. And <laughs> yeah. we're each responsible. So we need to learn, acquire knowledge, and eat well and spread the word. Uh, if you eat processed food, um, there could be problems ahead. Hmm. Very interesting. Were there any challenges in the shooting of the film? Well, just my own. I tend to cut the tops of people's heads off, but other than that, no major challenges. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's see if we could do this. Anything funny happened during the filming? Nothing funny. It was just kind of a miraculous that I met my film partner. I mean, I was a film school graduate, and somehow or other five-time Emmy winner finds me. I mean, wow. how does that happen to a film school? We think it's a God thing. I mean, how could we connect? We've got a Grammy-winning songwriter. How does wow. that happen? It had to be a, uh, uh, something higher than us that brought us together. So Beautiful. it is our goal to bring this information to the people so we can take charge of our own health.
And where did you do the filming? In one location or across the country? Across oh, the, uh, multiple I've, all over the country, England, France. <clears throat> okay. I've gone to many countries, but the footage that we have is in France and England and the U.S. Is there anybody out there you've interviewed that has a really astonishing solution, head over heels, that you really... Well, I've in, I mean, the, the quality of our soil is a big issue because we get the nutrition from our organic food that comes from the soil, and our soil's been depleted. And right. glyphosate that they use as an herbicide for GMO crops, um, this is found everywhere, and even organic food. So I have run across one man, Dr. Michael Ash in London, who's developing a fertilizer that could well develop, help our soil get better. A couple of mm -hmm. other points is the FDA scientist warned before the GMO products were pr promoted that this could have potential dangers. These people were ignored, and the FDA came out overwhelmingly in favor of genetically modified foods. Wow. Yeah, what, um, anything else you want to share about the film or well, about I just, the industry? Um, there's something called functional medicine where we look underneath the hood and find out what's going on. We can find okay. out 20 years ahead of time which direction the body's going. There's so many other approaches such as Ayurveda, Chinese medicine, and acupuncture that can be helpful. We need to look at all of these things and not just go on a model as pill for an ill. Very, very good. And what, do you have another project lined up after this one? Oh, absolutely. I just came back from a conference in Greece on environmental health. And you look in every direction, it's the same problem. Electromagnetic fields, the FCC in the U.S. is, you know, ramming certain ideas. I mean, 5G concerns me greatly. They want to put these things in every street corner. They have the ability for crowd control where they can drop anybody at any time. It can use for surveillance. It'll have a very bad effect on our health. WHO declared electromagnetic fields and glyphosate as possible car carcinogens at level two. So, wow. um, you know, it's a common theme. I mean, cigarettes, asbestos, uh, at where you look, the themes are the same. And the toxins, it's the total sum of these toxins that are causing ills. I mean, for example, autism, it used to be one out of 2,500. Now it's one out of 36. This is not only that we've increased our ability to diagnose it, because uh, just that the so some of the environmental toxins that's our next movie and we can handle some toxins they say well, a little bit of this won't hurt you but they're synergistic and we need to wake sure. up well i just want to make people aware that uh all of their decisions will affect their health uh we can have uh, exposure to some toxins be it glyphosate or electromagnetic fields or all the stuff people, women put on their faces and all the fragrances they put on, we can add a little bit of that. But the sum total of all the toxins we run into, the additives to our food, the processed food, you add all of these and I think it's more than the body can handle. We need to help our bodies and get our bodies to its own natural healing remedies. And we need to do this by avoiding exposure for toxins and the sum total. I mean, some people say EMF is causing this, glyphosate's causing this. I think it's just a big toxic pot and put it all together, plus our very bad lifestyle choices. I mean, WHO said that 23% of our chronic diseases are caused by our environment and our choices. Wow. Wake up, folks. And, and you're a medical doctor. So I'm a physician. I am, I am on the consultant registry in England, and I'm a psychiatrist in the U.S., and I'm also boarded in integrative medicine, where we look at overall different approach. And I'm also a practitioner in functional medicine. I would advise the listener to find a functional medicine practitioner if you want to look under the hood and see how you're really doing, rather than wait 10 years and you get a pill for a nail. You can find out about functional medicine practitioners by going ifm.org. That's I as in ink, F as in Fred, M as in money, .org. And you can find a practitioner located close to you. We so, need more. We need <laughs> more. Take so you're care. more than just a filmmaker. You're a, a, talking about health. You're actually a doctor talking about health. Yes, I'm a physician. So you're, you're also, well. we have uh, a nonprofit called Silicon Valley Health Institute, SVHI. Dave Asprey of Bulletproof uh, uh, yep. Coffee has yep. been involved as our chairman for many years.
Wonderful. Very good. Oh, so lots of good places that folks can find you. And yes. they'll look for you at the Cypress International Film Festival. Yes. June 23rd through July 1st, I believe, is the Yes, that's correct. Date. So thank you so much for being here, Susan, Dr. Downs. Look, wishing you all success at the festival. And I love thank your you. look, so thank you so much for shedding it my way. <laughs> you may brighten up many lives. Thank you so much. That's my that's my mission. Ah, thank you too. all for watching. We'll see you at the festival. I'm Swamiji, wishing you joy, joy, joy. Joy, joy, joy.